Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pitsil Sammy and in this particular video, we're going to talk about 3D motion tracking. And this is one of the examples which I've made from this particular plugin. And as you can see, it is so seamless, it is tracked so well, and everything is automatic. And it is by a company called Motion VFX. Now this is a paid plugin, this is pretty costly in my opinion, but this is totally worth it. Like people like Peter Lindgren and all those people use Motion VFX a lot. Like they use this particular plugins a lot in their Final Cut Pro workflow. This kind of 3D tracking is totally free if you are in After Effects, but for Final Cut Pro, it is not very much possible. So this is the only way you can do so. Now the link is there in the description if you guys want to purchase it. It is not a paid sponsorship. It is not a paid promotion. It is by far one of the things which I liked a lot. So I decided to make a video on it. So as you can see, this is one of the examples which I have made. These are some of the other examples which I have made. And it is not just text which you can track. You can track pictures also. You can track any kind of other kind of effects also. You can even track 3D models also, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to make more such videos on this particular plugin really soon. But for this particular video, we're going to do a little bit of 3D motion tracking for text. Let's jump straight into Final Cut Pro. So if you guys like this particular video, do make sure to subscribe, comment down below and let's get started. So I'm in Final Cut Pro now and this is the timeline. This is a basic drone clip which is there. Now if you go to the FX panel, you are going to see M Tracker 3D there. So what you need to do is you need to drag the M Tracker 3D onto the main clip on which you need to put the tracking data on. So just drag it right here, just like this. Click on track. It is going to take some time. After that, you want to get an option called copy track data. Just copy the data. After that, you need to put the title. Now you can put your own title and then edit it there. Or you can just choose any one of the inbuilt titles, which is there already in MTracker 3D plugin. It is already animated. All the effects are already put. All you need to do is you have to put the tracking data. So go to the control panel and then in this particular area, you need to put the tracking data. So click on paste track data. It is going to process and it is going to say done. And then after that, you need to choose the location on the video itself on which you need to put the title on. Choose any one of the portions on the video itself, such as this one. And as you can see, the title is already adjusted as per the clip. And then after that, in the controls panel, you can see all kinds of adjustments such as the basic title positions in the X, Y and Z axis. But the main thing which you need to be concerned about right now is the rotation part. So you need to rotate this particular title properly so that it can be adjusted properly with the orientation and the perspective of the drone clip which I have used. So adjust the X, Y and Z axis so that it looks good, it looks natural. So far it looks pretty good and as you can see the tracking is pretty good on its own. Right now it is unrendered that is why it is jittering but the tracking by far is one of the best ones which I have seen. After that what you can do is you can adjust all kinds of different settings in the controls panel right here. You can change the size of the text just like the way I did so because I feel that reducing the size actually makes it a little bit better. Other than those, you can make all kinds of other adjustments such as shadows, reflections, softness of the shadows and, and many other numerous kind of effects which you can apply on this particular title. You can do so on this particular panel. They have made sure to put most of the things which you can do with one title. So rest assured you guys are covered here. And it is not just titles that like I said, it is not just titles which this particular plugin can track. It can track a whole lot of different things which I will make different videos of because this particular plugin has a lot of potential. And trust me, you guys will love it at the end of all the parts video. So this is one of the samples. I know it, it is a bit costly, but the things which you can do with this particular plugin in Final Cut Pro, you don't have to go to After Effects or Motion or any other softwares to do this particular thing. So in order to save some time and money for other softwares, you guys are doing this. That is the only reason you guys should buy this particular plugin. So this is like the final result. These are some of the other variations which I have made. I hope you guys like this particular video. If you guys like this particular video, do make sure to subscribe, comment down below because we are very close to 100,000 subscribers. With that being said, this is Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.